Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Red Dead Redemption 2. Previously... Wow! Okay. Come on. I just wanted to play some five-finger fillet. Okay. Now, I don't want to mess up, but I want to get more than him. I only have $8,000, so I'll let you know right now. Oh, $2? Okay. And now, it it only gets harder every single time. A-A-A-D-D. -D. Oh, dang it! You've got to be freaking kidding me. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Oh, I did it! I did it! Whoa! Finally! Jeez. This is a big one. Armored bank and coach heading into Strawberry. Uh-huh. Nice. Yeah! Arthur. Oh, no. This was a bad move, then. I should have gone straight for the coach and then looted corpses. One of ten. Okay, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I guess that little area does put me in their jurisdiction or whatever. Wow. So now, any money that I made from that stagecoach robbery is definitely toast. Like, way more... Like, doubly so. And more. Two and a half times. I was down there because apparently a bull moose... Uh, can spawn in that area. It didn't. Oh no. This old beaver ran way out of the way up this hill and I spy a fossil up on there. Come here, horse. Have this. I think that's four beaver pelts, which is pretty good. We should be very near our goal. Our goal of I have no idea. Yeah. There we go. Whale bones. Makes sense. Up here on this mountain. Time to go, boy. What's that? A horse? That's an Arabian? A red one? Okay. You know I've got to tame it now. An Arabian. Honestly, I don't even care who we get rid of. This is too much. Whoa now. Hey, you're okay. I ain't gonna hurt you. <laughs> That's right. You're alright. Okay. Get on. Yeah, yeah. We got it now. We got it. You're gonna be my best friend. Oh, man. This is a beautiful horse. It's a female, too, it looks like. 
Nice. That was easy. That was easy. Oh yeah. You're coming home with me. That's for sure. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Okay, stay there. Uh, we're gonna remove saddle. And move it straight over. Let's lighten the load here, boy. That's right. Uh, where'd all my hides go? Are they on the saddle? Oh, good. Corresponding level one. I uh, can't even brush it. That's okay. Okay, girl. Nice. Yeah. This horse is gorgeous. Holy cow. Never seen one this red color before. With black mane and tail. I already have a name for her. Well, to get the strawberry, we're going to have to go straight through the uh, bounty hunters. It's the quickest way. I thought I could just get away from him. Wait, how'd they live? Oh, thanks. Sorry, but the whole liver is full. Yeah. We're gonna stable him. No bucks. I think you're gonna have to go, buddy. I know you're one of my uh, first horses. Speed, acceleration, handling, all very good. But sorry. Sorry, buddy. Sure. I can work with a nag like this. So, the new Arabian, then. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna upgrade. Appearance, of course. We gotta have braided. This horse will pass for nobility when I'm through. That's right. Tail. Braided. Got a fancy streak, huh? That's right. Sure in the heck, too. Uh, surfaces. I guess I have full insurance already. Luciferia. Huh. Really? That's right. I still haven't figured out a name for the Arabian or the Andalusian, so if you have ideas, let me know. Cyber Zombie named Spot. It's a very obvious choice and a great name for it. I still need to get my bonding level up to four on him as well. Uh, but yeah, this is the one. Uh, I guess we need... You won't find anyone better with horses than me. We'll That's go for the house. care package, too. There. Actually, no bucks was better than her, but who cares? Come back I'm always happy to stable that horse. Once I get her up to full bonding level, uh, she'll be better than uh, and no bucks was. Hopefully. Welcome back. 
Bad news, I'm afraid. I'm out of the information business. Oh no. The law's just getting too suspicious. It was good while it lasted, but there we go. Okay. Damn, was you trying to make a name for yourself or something? Well, this was the last job that you gave me, so that's how it went. Just so you know. So he's done. That's one thing to keep in mind then. And that's fine with me. Really? Yeah, it is. Probably the best horse in the whole game. Just like every other horse that I own. I'll have you know. Best horse. I wear whatever I want. Just like you do. Unless your wife dresses you. I don't know. That'd be a shame. Welcome, welcome. Hi. I need a room and a bath. I need a wash. You got a bath. All right. Head on over when you're ready. Okay. I'm heading on over. It just rained, but uh, it's been ages since I actually had a bath in this game. Ages. There we go. Hey, you need someone to take over for you? Uh, yes. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. Wonderful. Don't you worry about a thing. Whenever you're done, just say the word. You'll be clean as a whistle. Ah, you gotta treat yourself sometimes, I reckon. Absolutely. Uh, I was nearly married once. She never bathed me. Oh, I'm not sure what to do with that. So... How's it going with you? Not too bad. So, what do you do when you're not working? Oh, after work. Uh, I help nanny some of the children around here. Doing what I can to get out of this place. Uh, this is the first time I've been able to relax in ages. Goodness, that's quite a thing. I'm so sorry. Just let yourself unwind. All right, that's perfect. Thanks. You take care. <laughs> Amazing. Such a beast. Got some good clean rooms if you're interested. I am. I am actually. It's exactly what I came down here to tell you. Can I get a room, please? Rooms ready whenever you need. Okay. I'm going to sleep. Right now. Nope. We already searched everywhere in this place. Oh, is that not the correct room? My bad. I thought these were both baths, but I see the arrow now. Oh, wow. There's got to be some good stuff in here, right? Potent snake oil. There we go. Hot dog. Uh, look at reflection. Sure. Uh, you ugly bastard. <laughs> You're getting old. Old and kind of sad. That's right. No wonder they all leave you. That's right. You sour-faced idiot. <laughs> you ain't fooling no one. <laughs> Good gracious. Hmm. 
Not yet. Good thing I don't need to use any hair tonics right now. Oh, cool. Okay. Take this. And then, yeah, I think I will activate this. Okay. Huh. I wouldn't expect it to have all this all this stuff in here. That's very cool, though. And a little balcony. Nice. It's almost night, so uh, rest until morning should be a nice long sleep. Uh, ten hours. Let's do it. Sounds like a plan, and maybe that'll refresh some of the animals around here. Hopefully. There he is. The man. The legend. You think so? That's right. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, mister? Think so? Bit of a dangerous place to stand, but there we are. We got him. No big deal. In fact, there's not really anybody around. I'll leave him. So, I was thinking about doing uh, challenges again, right? Doing a little bit of hunting, a little bit of challenges. Sounds great. I found out, though, a horrible thing. And if you don't want spoilers, go ahead and skip ahead uh, about a minute, maybe two minutes. So with the gambler challenges, uh, right now I'm supposed to um, bust people out, right? One person at each place where you can play poker at. Uh, there's five places to play poker. Two of them uh, are in Blackwater and Tumbleweed uh, separately. And obviously I can't go there until we are in the prologue playing as Marston. John Marston. Right. So, yeah. If you don't know how the story ends, yeah, we will eventually be playing as John Marston. So, there you go. And... I'm not going to be able to complete the Gambler Challenge until then, which is a bit tragic. Uh, but there are other challenges for me to get into, and I can do the other three, um, which is Flatneck Station here. Um, there's one in Valentine in the saloon, and then San Denis is the last place where you can play poker at. So all of those, I came in here so that I could um, mark this. All of those are places that I can play as Arthur, and we'll be able to uh, get most of it done. But yeah, like I say, we cannot complete uh, Gambler Challenge 3 as Arthur, so. Yeah. There we go. What is that? It's like a human skull with bison horns and... I don't know, feathers or something? I don't think I can dig in these. No? It's real creepy though, that's for sure. It's just some man. Do we reckon this is 660 Whoa, feet? Because I do have that sharpshooter challenge. I wonder if I could still see him from up here. Slow it up. Let's see. Nope. That's apparently not far enough. That's incredible. Cocaine gum. Looks like uh, moonshine over here as well. And a note. This is definitely a church. Or was. 
Inspect letter. Let's take a peek. What's it say? Writing attentive zero ice young ago civilization occasion morning English school winter industry two heathen. Oh, spelling practice. It's like none of this makes any sense. Okay. Put that away. Don't see anything else of any value. Something over here. Oh, what are you? Chipmunk? It's only a two star though. Oh, bread chunk. I thought it was a tonic of some kind. Oh, there's something over here. Cigarettes. Oh, I can't uh, swap guns. Canned salmon? Come on. Come on. Can't tell me that's not a canned salmon. There we go. That would be so gross after sitting out in the heat like that, in the sun. Maybe not. Oh, can't carry anymore. Okay, well, let's go. Yep. I could have named her something like Cinnamon. That would have been a good one too, but uh, I don't know. She looked a lot more red when I first found her. Now she looks more kind of orange, but it's fine. Oh, I didn't check this teepee up here. I think there's an easy way in right here. I'd be surprised if there's anything around it. Come on, it's not that difficult. Uh, yeah. yeah. It looks like nothing. Idiot. Yeah. So up now. Still not 660 feet? There we go. Now we got him. And the long scope rifle. I'm gonna lose all kinds of honor for doing that, but... I really thought we were there. I was just not quite there. Seven headshots in a row, huh? Okay. I'll do it. Hey! Oh, no. That's the cream man. Uh, I wanted to head up this direction, actually. Go look for some cougars. Oh yeah, there's one. Got him. There's a grizzly right down here though, so I need to be careful. This was a perfect uh, cougar though. Wow, right in the eyeball? Basically, right behind the eyeball. I have to be very careful not to sell this hide though. Even though the trapper has a lot of good clothing items that require cougar pelts. I want to finish Arthur's uh, decorations first. And I think I've already given the trapper two, well, sold uh, two cougar pelts to the trapper already. Let's go, girl. I would get the grizzly pelt too because it's perfect, but I don't need it is the problem. If I found like an elk or a uh, bison, that would be even better. The moose would be the best, but so far no dice. These are both three stars as well. Oh, come on. There we go. Get the hell back! Oh, no. No, 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 no. Wow, okay. That was the stupidest thing that's ever happened. Why don't you just take your time killing the elk instead of being able to cancel an action? I'll bet I lost all those hides.
Yep, I lost all those hides, including that perfect okay, cougar pelt. Girl. Because you can't cancel an action. And he decided to take three years to mercy kill an elk. I lost all of those pelts. Oh, we got a question mark over here. Trying to track a bighorn sheep right quick to get one of the hides back that I had from before. Not sure. It's up that direction though. It looks like a tree house. A bear better mind his own business. Yeah, like I said earlier, I don't think that there's any recipes I need a bear skin for. I wasn't expecting that bear to come at me either. That was pretty frustrating. I don't understand why I couldn't just move, you know? I know that I told him to mercy kill that elk, but you would think that he would be smart enough to allow me to just move. I'm not nowhere near having any of the hides back, but we're getting started, I guess. I'm trying to run. Just didn't want to. Is this black and white? It is. Hey, you all right, mister? Can we, uh, can we help you? I'm fine. Oh, I know you two. <laughs> hey, look who it is. Oh. I barely recognized you boys on account of you not trying to kill each other. Yeah, well, somebody <laughs> learned his manners, finally. So you boys didn't run away. Now, nobody looking out here. I reckon we're, we're okay. Mm, all right. But the law's pretty... Well, it's pretty vigorous these days. I told you we should That's leave. That's right. But did you want to listen? Oh, no. Mr. Hind Mighty, he don't listen to no oh, one. Oh, would you just shut up? I will not. <laughs> I will not shut up. You know what? You'll shut up when I shut you up. Oh, that's real funny. I cannot believe it. I'm stuck out here with only you to talk to. I get a better conversation from the goddamn trees. I know. <laughs> I've seen you talking to them. I can't believe I got honor just for that. Living away from most folks in secluded part of Big Valley. I see. Being a moron. You're an Incredible. Man, Mr. Black. <laughs> oh, let me in. Let, <laughs> let me in. Open the door. Come on, let me in. I, Jeff, go away. Let me in. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Now let me in. Go away. I'm so, I'm, I'm I'll make dinner again. All right, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Say you're sorry again. I'm real sorry. <laughs> oh man that's amazing and that's gonna do it for this episode if you want to catch another one be sure to subscribe consider supporting my channel through the patreon link down in the video description and feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in i thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel and i hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you Farewell.